There are certain daily habits that build your brain. Like reading. Some daily habits build your body. Like curling kittens. There are even some habits that are scientifically proven to build Big Al. Whoa! And if you're ready, why don't you drop me and your soon-to-be more mas grande Al one of these to be like, yo, Alpha's back and it's game time. All right, so the first two habits are gonna come as no surprise. We've talked about them before, but since we're doing a video talking about this, it is critical that we actually address the elephant in the room, or I should say the potential elephant in the room. Gentlemen, tip number one is manscape. If you are rocking a big monster man bush down your pants, Al's gonna look itty bitty, right? Nobody wants an itty bitty looking Al, and so the solution, as you know, is to manscape, gentlemen. Remove the big bush in order to let the tiger out of the jungle. Wow. Number two is actually to lose weight, of course. Now, here's where things actually start changing, right? So if you are currently holding a little bit of extra body fat down in the pubic region, which is very common for dudes to actually do, your Al is actually small. And now a scientific demonstration. This pickle represents your big owl. My hand is going to represent your body. Notice what happens as you gain body fat. Big owl gets smaller, all right? But as you lose body fat, look what happens. Big owl gets big, strong, and delicious. It all boils down to body fat reduction. If you want your big owl to be big, strong, and delicious, you gotta make sure that you don't have a bunch of fat down there around big owl. A simple solution is to reduce your body fat. How are you gonna do that, gentlemen? This isn't rocket science. You're gonna exercise, you're gonna eat less shit. Speaking of working out, the third daily habit that will actually make it bigger, stronger, harder, more amazing is actually to use it. As in, use it. As in, use it. Research has concluded that the more you use it, the more you actually invite blood to come rushing in, guys, it's actually going to improve the size, it's gonna improve the strength, it's gonna improve the firmness and thickness and all sorts of amazing things. It's all about filling that bad boy with blood, and if you are doing it on a more routinely or regular basis, guys, you're actually stretching out those blood vessels, and the more you do it, gentlemen, the more blood you're going to allow in it. The more blood that goes in it, the bigger it actually gets. Research has concluded if you are currently smoking, you need to quit. Figure out a way. I know it's tough, I know it's hard, or it's actually not hard, that's the problem. Nicotine, as you know by now, is a vasoconstrictor, right? As opposed to a dilator, which makes it big, nicotine comes in and shrinks and squeezes the blood vessels, right? Not allowing as much blood flow. Now, here's the deal. There was an incredible study that was done in 2011, which basically took a ton of dudes that were actually smokers. They made them quit for eight weeks. And what they actually did, this, this is where it gets weird, right? They attached a thing to Big Al, right? And made him watch porn. And then they basically measured the hardness and thickness and size and circumference and all sorts of things associated with Big Al. And what they found is that as the weeks progressed, it got bigger, harder, stronger. Research has concluded you are wearing the wrong underwear. Not only is Al going to look smaller, your balls are going to be stinky, sweaty, messy, not to mention your sperm count low. Let me explain. Your testicles are the brains of the operation. Big Al's just there for moral support and to look impressive, right? But the boys, that's what you really need to pay attention to, all right? If you're wearing underwear that are keeping them all jammed up against your body, it's not allowing them to do what they do, which is be little testicle geniuses all day, up and down, regulating temperature so that they don't kill your sperm. Now, the other thing that tight underwear do is actually make you hot, moist, wet, increasing the chance of odor, also increasing the friction and the rubbing and feeling all not so sexy down there. It's all about creating a little bit of room, a little bit of separation, but still offering support. Now you're like, yo, Alpha, this sounds impossible. How do you do that with regular standard underwear? The answer is you don't buy regular standard underwear. You buy today's video sponsor, Sheath. The Sheath underwear, guys, may look like standard super sexy boxer briefs, but they're a lot more than that. These underwear literally have changed my life. They solve the problems that every single guy faces, which is odor, which is wetness, which is friction, which is is not being super comfortable. Guys, it all boils down to this ingenious inside design. All right, gentlemen, so check it out. See that little pouch right there? You're going to place your twins or balls in there, and then that hole, you're actually gonna stick Big Al through there. The genius behind this design, guys, it's all about creating separation. When you separate the twins from Big Al, you're not having all of the heat, all of the moisture, all of the friction that happens from just packing everything into your pants. But I'm a dude, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, yo, Alf, is that actually comfortable? Is it a little bit weird, gentlemen? It's more comfortable than regular underwear. It's also a lot of fun to put on, and actually, it make it, it literally it makes you look gigantic. 
I know that that wasn't like the goal of what Robert was creating, but it's just a nice, super sexy byproduct. When you slip on your sheath, guys, and you're just like, yo, check it out, because you've got this separation, you literally look like, <laughs> you look three times as big as you normally are, right? So check it out, guys. They've got a lot of different incredible designs, from super sexy, sleek ones to a little bit more fun, outlandish ones. And they also recently dropped some super badass new designs. They've also got some limited edition designs that were actually created for some of the UFC fighters, like Cowboy Cerrone. Anyway, guys, I'm going to link to it down below along with that limited time, 20% off discount. Guys, there is no better time than right now. Also, sheath make an incredible Christmas gift. If you get your pops or your weird Uncle Barry a pair of sheath, they're going to be like, oh, thanks for the underwear. And then he's going to put it on and be like, no, thanks for the underwear. These are amazing. And then he's probably going to get more action from your moms. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not kidding. But seriously, you look so sexy in sheath underwear. The other thing, guys, I just want to mention is that now you can actually bundle on the sheath website. So it is a huge no-brainer. Hit that link and use that discount code. Guys, they are gonna sell out of the popular styles, the popular colors. So if you go and you see something in your size that you wanna try, grab them. I would recommend not grabbing just one because when you get them, right, you're gonna wanna wear these a lot more than just like one day a week or whenever you do laundry. So I'd recommend buying probably three, four, possibly five. I'm telling you, they are amazing. Hit the link, use that discount code. That code makes them super affordable for a super premium pair of drawers. The next habit that is directly tied the Big Al being Mas Grande is what you drink. And there are three things we got to talk about. Number one is coffee, caffeine, gentlemen. This magical, mythical nectar of the gods has been actually scientifically proven to increase Al's firmness, hardness, thickness, and bigness. The University of Texas apparently is pretty worried about Big Al's performance. And so they did a research study on caffeine and its effect on Al. And what they found is that dudes that drank like 75 to 150 milligrams of caffeine a day were 39% less likely to suffer from ED. So as you know, caffeine is a stimulant. And what they basically concluded is that the stimulant increases blood flow specifically to Al. The only negative side effect in terms of caffeine and Al is dehydration, which is something that has been shown to actually reduce Al's size, blood flow, and all that good stuff. When you're dehydrated, it starts to slow everything down, including plasma and red blood cells from circulating around in your body. Plasma and red blood cells are one of the key ingredients in Big Al being able to get up, right? Now, there was a researcher, a scientist actually, we'll call him, that did a study, right? And basically what he found is that if you are dehydrated, it increases the floppiness of your wiener. He was a French physiologist who actually did this experiment. And basically what he found is that the more hydrated you are, the more everything is circulating through your body and the bigger Big Al actually becomes. The next thing we got to talk about in terms of drinking is alcohol, all right? So if you like drink regularly, you may have experienced whiskey dick, <laughs> which is the technical term for not being able to do it because you drank too much, right? Everything gets all like, yeah, and your Al's like, whatever, I'm going to sleep. Research has concluded. And the other downside to drinking like beer is that it actually contains like phytoestrogens from the hops, all right? The hops in beer is known as a phytoestrogen or like a plant-based estrogen. When you consume it, your estrogen levels in your body actually goes up, reducing your testosterone production. The other downside to drinking a lot is that you may develop a spare tire, and like we talked about before, or I should say the doctor talked about before, you gotta make sure your pickle stays big and so don't get sloppy fat. And the last habit we're gonna talk about that is directly tied to you not only looking sexy, it's also directly tied to testosterone level, not to mention Big Al's level of being amazingly big, and that is exercise. Gentlemen, we've talked about this like a gazillion times, right? But there was this research study done by Harvard. They did some research, and what they found is that dudes that participated in 20 to 30 minutes of vigorous exercise a day actually had like a 50% reduction in like erectile issues. Once again, it's use it or lose it. If you are using your body to lift and be strong and be active, you can't help but realize that this is going to affect you in a lot of amazing ways, right? But if you're lazy, if you're sitting on your ass, if you're not moving, gentlemen, unfortunately, eh, I, I got bad news for everybody. You, Al, the boys, like everything. It's just a bad, hot mess of a situation. But something else that the research failed to mention that I will because I've done my own research because I am technically kind of a doctor. Research Research has concluded that going to the gym also not only helps your muscles and testosterone, it helps Big Al get big. And the reason is because of all those spicy senoritas in yoga pants. Still delicious.